python namespace and scope identifier is nothing but one name which is simply a name given to python objects and you can get the address in ram of some object through the built-in function that is our id so using this id function we can easily get the id of the respective identifier so now you can get the different values of id in our um, execution whatever the id we have written here under the comment so a is equal to 2 so i want to print the id of 2 i want to print the id of a also so see what we're doing so here is the outcome so the id of 2 and id of a both are same you can easily find that both are same again we are assigning a is equal to 2 and we are trying to print the id of a we are finding that one it, this id is also the same as we had before next one is that we have made a is equal to a plus 1 so a is now holding the value 3 here so if we print the id of a we are finding that the id of a has got different and there is the id which is different from the id of a whatever we got the output outcome uh, earlier next id of 3 if i print this id of 3 i'm getting this one as 17645160064 so that means it is the same as the id of a because a is now holding the value 3 here if i assign b is equal to 2 and if i want to print the id of 2 i'm getting the same id which we had in case of a or in case of 2 when a was having the value 2 here so if i print the respective one if i go on printing say print so if i print i can find that the id of 2 and id of b both are same because b is equal to 2 has been assigned so in this way we have discussed that what is a identifier and what is an id id is nothing but one built-in function available in python to print the respective memory address in the ram the address is whatever we have printed if you execute the same code you might be getting some different address so that will be decided by that during the execution of my code which memory block is free and depending upon that the memory allocation against the variables will be done by the system next one is the scope so we are having this outer function we are having this inner function so it is also known as nested function so global a that means i'm defining one variable within outer function but the scope will be global so that's why we have used the keyword global here this value of a has been initialized with 20. now there is my inner function there is a nested function which is existing inside the outer one you can look at the indentation and you can get the idea that this particular inner function is within the outer function here we are defining this a but it is not a new way but it is a global a which we referred earlier that a has got updated with the value of 30 and the value of a has got printed from the outer function this inner function whatever you have defined just now it has got executed it has been called so during execution it will have its execution and we are printing this value of a after exiting from the inner function within outer function so i've written this a is equal to 10 at first so that is the a is there i'm printing the value of a so it is printing 10 now we are calling this outer function so when the control will be going to the outer function this a is actually the global a that means the a which is right now holding the value 10 so that 10 has got updated with the 20 but we didn't print anything then the inner function will be called so inner function is also referring the same global variable a so this a is available in the global scope and that a will be used in the inner function now a is equal to 30 now this 30 is updating the global a scope the a which is defined in the global scope now we are printing this value of a so it is printing 30 here after calling this inner function again we are printing this value of a from the outer function then it is printing 30 and after calling this outer function if you print the value of a here i'm getting 30 back again so it is the, it is giving me uh, the idea it is giving us the idea what is the scope here and whenever one variable is in one scope then how to access that variable from the some inner scope using the global keyword as we did in our coding in this demonstration we have discussed that how to define what is happening whenever we are defining one identifier in our python coding thanks for watching this video